subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about stochastic gradient descent and batch gradient descent. In our last class, we discussed about how gradient descent helps in solving the optimization problem of linear regression. So please watch that video and come back here. This is an extension to our previous class. So what we discussed in our last class is in linear reg regression. So we used these equations in our last class. What is this equation? W1 new is equal to W1 old minus alpha into sigma i is equal to 1 to n dou L by dou W1. What is L here? Our loss function. We are differentiating loss function with respect to W1 and we are computing sigma and i is equal to 1 to n means n is number of data points which we considered in our last class. How many data points we considered in our last class? Four data points. Substitute each data point in the equation which we got from our loss derivative of the loss function with respect to w1 substitute each data point and sum them up this is what we did in our last class substitute each data point and sum them up so this process will be repeated this process we are identifying new w1 new and w not new this process is repeated till convergence the convergence concept we already discussed in our gradient descent class. So if you have any questions regarding the convergence, please watch the gradient descent class and come back here. So the difficulty in this equation is, let's say we are having a 1 lakh data points. This is the usual thing which we consider. 1 lakh data points is usually considered in machine learning. So if we, if we are having 1 lakh data points, n value is 1 lakh means sigma i is equal to 1 to n 1 to 1 lakh data points each data point substitute and sum them up so substituting 1 lakh data points and summing them up is computationally hard okay that is the problem in gradient descent substituting 1 lakh data points and summing them up is computationally hard to overcome this problem we go to stochastic gradient descent let's understand how stochastic gradient descent works in so in stochastic gradient descent loop till convergence in this loop consider one more loop this is a concept of loop within a loop so loop 1 to n what is this mean if you are having 1 lakh data points this loop will execute for 1 lakh times each time it will consider one data point each time it will consider one data point so each substitute one data point and compute this value and subtract it from w1 old find the w1 new so this loop will execute for 1 lakh times like that this loop will execute till convergence so here we are taking only one point at a time inside the loop first point second point third point update w1 new fourth point update w1 new fifth point so on one lakh points okay still it not converged repeat this process again repeat this process again this is what stochastic gradient descent is this is computationally good this is computationally not good so the problem here is this is computationally hard if this is computationally easy the problem with stochastic gradient descent is uh, stochastic gr gradient descent will not converge fast gradient descent will converge fast let's check why gradient descent is converging fast so w1 new is equal to w1 old minus this value if this value is high, if this value is high, we are subtracting this value from W1 old. 
remember from our gradient descent uh, what we what we discussed in our gradient descent if this value is high we will take long jumps means converging fast w1 will take long jumps so if you don't have an idea about gradient descent so please watch that video previous videos all the videos those are very very important in understanding okay this will take long jumps why this value is high because we are considering one one lakh data point summing them up here we are considering one point obviously which one is having a larger value this one will having a larger value so gradient descent is converging fast stochastic gradient descent is converging slow but computationally this is good depends on the situation you go with any method if you are computationally good if your system is computationally good having a large random access memory go with gradient descent if your system is not having large random access memory to solve all these things and computationally not good then go with stochastic gradient descent okay what's the problem in stochastic gradient descent convergence is slow what's the problem in uh, gradient descent computationally difficult to compensate these two problems the problems which occurred in these two different models to compensate those we will use batch gradient descent so in batch gradient descent let's take we are having a 1 lakh data points we will divide this 1 lakh data points into batches let's take our batch size is 100 so we will take each batch as 100 data points so we will work on each batch okay let's understand how we will work on loop till convergence in this loop take one more loop and this loop execute for n by 100 times n means our actual data points 1 lakh data points 1 lakh divided by 100 how many batches we will have each batch contains 100 data points how many batches we will have n by 100 batches that's why this loop has to be executed for n by 100 times each time take one batch for suppose first time we are taking a 1 to 100 data points second time we have to take a 101 to 200 data points third time we have to take a 201 to 300 data points like that we have to take a each time take one batch and work on that batch so here we are calculating this value on batch 100 data points this is computa computationally better when comes when compared with gradient descent here we are considering 1 lakh data points here we are considering 100 data points computationally better this is converging fast when compared to stochastic gradient descent here we are taking one data point here we are taking 100 data points so this value is large when compared to single point because we are taking 100 data points and summing them up so this value is obviously large when compared to this value so batch gradient descent converge fast when compared to stochastic gradient descent and computationally better when compared to gradient descent most of the times almost all the times we use batch gradient descent in our machine learning process okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you